gets worse every night. They don't want the world to know what they've done. Oh, my head. What's wrong with Umbrella? Get in! I can't stop them all. You gotta get out of there. You guys are the ones who caused all of this. No, 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 wait! Oh, come on. Ah! We've gotta be dreaming. Welcome to the Three Way Pop Hump Day Show. This is your host, JP Leecher 101. We got Public Enemy 59, my cousin Love. And of course, the man behind it all, JRX4 Elias. Yo! Um, so we're here to discuss, long overdue, the review for Resident Evil 3. Uh, as you guys all know, Resident Evil is one of my favorite franchises of all time. I have all the games. Uh, so this has been much anticipated for me. Now, uh, with a great uh, outcome that, that was Resident Evil 2 in the remake, uh, I believe to this day that it was the game of the year last year, hands down. Um, we were anticipating and waiting for Resident Evil 3 to come out and, you know, come out in full force. So, uh, this game has, uh, has its quirks. Uh, even for me as a fan, um, I, there are some dislikes. But let's just go ahead and cover the generics of it graphic-wise. Let's just start with that, the graphics. Okay. The graphics in this game are amazing. I have to admit, the majority of the tones, the lighting is great, 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 great. Jill, the way they made her face look, the way they made her character, great. Um, Nemesis, hands down, great look. I kind of like the old Nemesis with the whole face, but mm -hmm. they did some improvements on it. Um, the zombies were a great place too. Nothing looked because you, no, you, if you notice on Resident Evil 2, you get the same type of zombies. Yeah. On this one, not not as much. There are different types of zombies. There was African American zombies. There was Latin zombies. <laughs> it was it was crazy. <laughs> yes, yes. If you pay attention, yes. Bro, they um, had African American zombies in Resident Evil 2. I didn't see any. To Did be you not see the one next to the vending machine? No, I just killed it. I just went doo -doo -doo -doo, and that was it. Oh my God, uh, I thought it was blood in his face. No, but, but uh, <laughs> I, I will say, uh, I will, I, I, there is one knock graphics wise that I have against this game. It looks good. Yeah, it looks I have some knocks just too. as good as Resident Evil 2. I, for some reason, I remember Resident Evil 2 looking better. I don't yes, know why. I agree. But I will say this there was more gore in Resident Evil 2. Like, more gory yes. scenes, more blood, more more of that tenacity and like like really showing off the zombies. I didn't really get a lot of that here in Resident Evil 3. Yeah, there were some some blood, but for the most part, some kind of nasty scenes, but for the most part well, this one had a lot of I didn't action. I really see scenes. too much gore. Yeah, it it was very action based. Go ahead, Leo. That's true. No, yeah, I mean, uh, I didn't okay. Uh, full disclosure, I didn't play this. I don't plan on buying this game until it goes on sale. All right. Uh, but I have seen a shit ton of videos. I've seen all the speedruns. I've seen like people play the shit out of this game. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was really actually like there was a lot of like like uh, set pieces for the game. Uh, yes. Uh, you, uh, did we say we were doing spoilers? Because we didn't do spoilers. <laughs> well, yes, we'll do spoilers right now. But let's just cover graphics real quickly. Okay. okay. My, knock, my, my knock on graphics as well was sometimes when they spoke, it didn't go with the dialogue. Uh, that was one of my knocks. On uh, it. There was there was issues. Uh, I think I forgot who said it. I think one of those like digital foundry, I believe, said that mm -hmm. the Xbox version of Resident Evil 3 is not as optimized as the other versions. Oh, I see. Maybe that's probably what it is. And not only that, there were some times where the lighting was a little too dark, like mm. the photographs were like a little too dark. So just little things like that. But overall, the graphics, I'll give it an eight. The graphics were great to mm -hmm. me. Um, but let's hop, let's hop on to the story, which I think is what we all want to bite on. Mm -hmm. um, the length of the story, this game is very, very short. Uh, I would say if I really put my mind to it, I can finish it in six hours. Okay. Maybe less, knowing all the information. What uh, was your time in, in, this, in your run? I think it was like seven was hours. Yeah. I got it, it at seven less. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's because I couldn't find... I was I'm a hundred percenter, so I go and look for all the ammo and stuff yeah. like that. I couldn't. So. I thought I got all the Charlie dolls, but <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get it. I, I don't know yeah. what I miss. There's one I mean, in the. There's one where you open up at the store that you have to use it. No one always goes back for that first one, but you or you click the 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 link. But anyway, point is the the story itself it, it follows very closely 
to the original Resident 3, but there are certain areas that are on the story that have been cut off, like the clock tower, uh, the police. Let me, so I never ran through the original Resident Evil 3, but I'm hearing a lot of complaints about the same thing you're mentioning, that they cut out a bunch of the parts that fans of the original really loved. Um, yes. So I never ran through uh, the original. I saw my uncle play it because he was a big Resident Evil fan. I kind of I was too scared to, re to really play that game by myself at that time. But I just watched him play it. But yeah, I heard uh, the same complaint. I heard they left out a graveyard. Yeah, I heard they correct. left out the clock tower. Yeah. Uh, so those are some of the areas that fans that played the original are not very happy that they left out those those essential areas. Yes. And that's my knock on it. I think they left so much out of the story to try to make it very action-based game. Um, and, 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 and from my point of view, as someone who doesn't have that attachment to the original, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, to me, I don't – so I don't see those negatives. I was all in, man. Oh, okay. I love the story. I was like, oh, yes. I couldn't wait to get into the next area and find out what where this is all going. You could kind of get an idea – very early on who the enemy is yes but, uh still i still wanted to see the next scene i still wanted to see the next cut scene uh freaking nemesis man kept coming back like that guy does not stop <laughs> yeah and then but you know what going... i didn't like that I, I thought he would be more like mr x like in the original resident mm -hmm. evil 3 where he would follow you in actual rooms except the safe room and i remember when i played resident evil 3 i was always like fuck this motherfucker here let me run to a safe room and he'll fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. leave me alone and but that's here, another knock yeah that, that yeah, i hear it just, is that it just comes like to a quick little cut scene or he explodes yeah, yeah, yeah. through a wall and, then and it's like a rail you're on mm -hmm. rails, you got to get to the next area, and then boom, he stops Yeah, and, and then, like, there's, like, little cool things with they kept, which is if you if you stop him, he'll drop. But uh, it's only items, one yeah. grenade. Yeah, he, it's only one grenade uh, that you really need. If you save your grenades and just save it for him, like, you can literally get all the weapons and all the ammo and stuff. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like they made it a little easier. I feel like that whole, like, fuck, get the fuck out of my way. But it wasn't, like, Resident Evil X where I was like, fuck, I got to mm. run for this motherfucker. And yeah, high. yeah, yeah. Like, it wasn't Not like same. Mr. X, who was always mm -hmm. around. You never knew when he was going to pop out. And you can hear stomping, like, yeah. all over the place. And it wasn't that tension. You out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, your uh, Resident Evil 2, yes, was more scary in that sense. I, I get it. Resident Evil 3 originally was more action-oriented. Uh, and I feel like they, very, they carry that more into this game. They leaned on that more. I liked it. I don't know. If it was, I don't know what, what I can't really say exactly what it maybe is. It's maybe because it was of the nostalgia. The nostalgia, you don't have that. Yeah, and then, I, you know, I was trying to progress <clears> through <throat> it, and it was letting me do that. It's it was very linear, more I think more linear than a lot of other Resident Evil games, especially RE2 remake. Uh, so it, there was no, there wasn't a lot of exploration, and I know a lot of people don't like that, but. I kind of liked it because I was like, hey, man, I, I want to get to the next part. I want to find out what's next. Yeah. Um, I, the latter parts of the games, I, are, I feel, are short. Like, RE2, when you got to the laboratory, it felt longer. It felt like you got to explore that yeah. area longer. Here in the laboratory, in the underground laboratory, you're just very quickly kind of get through it quick. in my – in my uh, so you just you basically mm -hmm. start off in the city, then you run to this uh, uh, all over the city to just get up the subway. Now you get in the, the subway. city. Now no, no, let me say this: the city was badass. Yeah, like, the city scene yeah. was badass. It, it, the exploration. I mean, there there's certain exploration out in the city. The way it was graphically looked, yeah. the it, just all of it put together to me, I really liked it, man. I was like, damn, if this is what they can do with the outside, like, yeah, shit, like, I, I think so. Jump right from the church to the subway station, right outside the subway station, you go to the uh, the police station. From the police station, uh, you go outside. How about to the, the callback? How how about the little connection to RPD right there? Yeah, um, and 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 then like from there, you go to the hospital. And from the hospital, you go to it was it was so quick. It was just like boom, boom. Yeah, you didn't have time the hospital to... was tight. Look, I gotta say the boss battles I really liked in this game. Like the with Nemesis. Not only with Nemesis, uh, for example, in the hospital with Carlos, where you're defending Jill. Yeah. Like I thought that was really cool. Um, Nemesis boss battles, of course, are badass. 
that final boss battle, it, it's a little over the top. It's, I got it's your so back. Capcom. I it's got so your RE2. back. Like, yeah. I liked it, man. <laughs> so the story itself follows very linear with Resident Evil 3. The only thing is there are certain sections that are not there. Mm, but overall, mm. the main storyline is still the same. Okay, so let's gotcha. focus on that. Uh, now, I know we've covered graphics, the story. Um, I, I would cover gameplay. Audio, gameplay itself. I think the gameplay itself, the shooting of the guns, the style of the guns, the way you shoot, yeah. the aiming, I thought it was great. Hands yeah. down, an improvement on Resident Evil 2. Um, mm -hmm. And they made it uh, easier for you to move around your weapons, and your storage mm -hmm. was a lot better. Uh, I thought you could store so much, um, and they not made it... not a lot of puzzles in the game. Not a lot of puzzles. And I, I was kind of like, what? Is it? Like, the, I think the toughest puzzle was maybe the beginning where you had to get the crystals. Yeah, which you can find them at the store. You find the red, the green crystal right up yeah. front. Yeah. Like, it's very so, easy. <laughs> so I was like, where, where are all the puzzles? The, the serum? Uh, the, the serum the was not that hard. Sir, I mean, it was, it was not a lot of, a lot of puzzles. <laughs> that, that for yeah, sure. Like, for sure. But I would have thought, yeah. But I mean, the gameplay overall itself, running with Chris, uh, with, with Chris, running with Jill was crisp. Uh, I think that when you fight with your grenade launcher, all those weapons are great. Um, and, and, and the gameplay itself, just everything in line with when you re trigger, when you shoot, the, when you dodge. I thought the dodge was a great. But if you dodge and you start getting, like, your rhythm, you become, like, motherfucking all might. Yeah. Shit, just dodging shit left and right. I want to say I, I, didn't, I, I never perfected it. Now I did pull it off in the end, and I was really happy because I was like, oh, shit, I did it. Like, but I was never really, like, consistent with the dodge. Uh, Especially with I, Carlos. Carlos, he, he goes and he throws a punch. You can use that all the fucking time, guys. Like, wait till the last minute and just press it, and he'll fucking knock the shit out of him. Um, um, so, in the end, uh, I know we're kind of skipping through beats here, but so uh, Nikolai just shoots the, the, the virus, the, the, the vaccine, right? Yes, and so there's so yes, that's that ending mm, cutscene that you're yeah. speaking about. So basically, the story follows along. Jill is trying to get out the city. Uh, she meets Carlos. They have the little adventure. She's facing Nemesis along their way. Um, there's a little bit of flirtatious going on. Um, Carlos saves her several times. He finds out that Umbrella's really behind the virus, and they were sent there to kill this doctor, Doctor Bart, who can create the vaccine. Um, Carlos goes with his team, with his Nikolai and Mikael. Uh, Mikael dies, uh, protecting Jill from Nemesis. Carlos uh, saves Jill when Jill gets infected from the virus from Nemesis. And then you see uh, uh, Nikolai, uh, you know, testing out Nemesis, writing down data, as well as uh, creating the vaccine and trying to sell it. But at the end, he just destroys it. And he only left like a little vial. And the cutscene is someone grabbing that vial which I think is Rebecca, uh -huh. Rebecca from Resident Evil 1. Uh, the oh, Rebecca Chambers. Oh. That's what I think because those hands look too feminine. And there ain't no shoulders in that bitch. Uh, that's a girl. <laughs> so what, what's the point of grabbing the – I don't know. I think there's one – Shot vaccine. Like, I don't... I, maybe there's like some residue left of, of, the, uh, of the vaccine. So we'll find out. This is, you know, a different – the ending was not there in the original Resident Evil 3. As you all know, it goes to Cody and Veronica. But if, overall, you know, the story was pretty, pretty good. Gameplay was pretty good. Graphics mm -hmm. good. Uh, I'll give you my overall score. I'll give it an eight point mm -hmm. five. Okay. And this is me, a Resident Evil fan. Guys, if you're gonna buy this game, I would say wait till it comes out on sale. This should have been a DLC for Resident Evil Two. The game is too small. Um, I wouldn't even play the multiplayer option. It's yeah, not I was about that to good. say, how about that multiplayer? Do you guys try that? Yeah, the multiplayer uh, uh, option, it's, uh, it's not good. It's not fun. I, I didn't have fun. I did the tutorial, and I did one match, and I was still trying to learn the controls. Uh, I don't know, man. It, since then, I haven't jumped back in there, and I think that kind of speaks for itself. Like, uh, haven't really gone in there since. So what do you rate the, the overall game? I'm going to give it an 8.0 for the fact that just what you said, uh, 8.0. It's a great game. I liked it. I really like going through it. $60, though, yeah. I, I think that's a little steep. I would do what uh, Jerks is doing, wait for it to go on sale, 
Mm -hmm. I would probably pull the trigger at forty dollars. Not even. I would wait because they have that Resident Evil with Jill, uh, Resident Evil Resistance, I believe, and I think that was only thirty bucks for two DLCs, and yeah. it was basically longer than actual Resident Evil Three. So I would wait till thirty bucks. The game is great, mm -hmm. guys. Don't get me wrong. The game is great. I'm a Resident yeah, Evil yeah, fan. Yeah. I bought it. Yeah. I paid the fifty nine ninety nine. No problem. But mm -hmm. for me, playing the game and seeing the outcome, it was more like if anybody asked me my opinion, I would say wait. Uh, wait mm -hmm. till it comes out on sale because I don't want to – I got it because I'm a real fan. If you're a real fan, you know, you, you fucking love this game. You, it's a great game to me. It means a lot to me because I play a lot of Resident Evil. Go mm -hmm. ahead and get it. But for just a casual gamer, I would say $30 would be the max that I would pay for this game. I will say this, man. I was stressed out. You know, the, playing this game during these times, it kind of kind of hit a little stronger. Oh, you calm know, the down, whole, pussy. The whole locking down the cities, the and virus the spreading, vaccine. I yeah, know, but, those are just but still, something about it, it was just like, damn, okay. It kind of hit me a certain somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you, JP. Uh, if, if you can't wait to play it, Buy it. You're going to have a fun time, but if you can wait a little longer for those sales to come, you yeah. know, I would probably go that route as well. But 8.0 for me. Uh, Elias, any, any comments? Any comments? It's trash. Wait for it till it's free. <laughs> Games oh, is gold. Shit, free. Goddamn. Till it's free? Goddamn. Games is no, gold. I, I, and I'm sorry, guys. You know, we, we wanted to do this a, a lot sooner. Um, I finished the game about a week ago, but since Final Fantasy VII came out, I've been stuck on that right now. Uh, trying to get that done too, so it was like back to back for me. And I'm trying to get a physical copy of that, and I can't. I can't. Final Fantasy VII. No, you can yeah, order on GameStop. You can do delivery. They deliver it to the store, and they'll walk into the. Front yeah, door. but I got coupons, and they don't let me use my coupons. Fuck that! Nah. I'm not buying it for full price. <laughs> like I, I want to use my coupons. Yeah, so, but they're stealing but, my money. <laughs> but, but going back to Resident Evil, um, they also came out with a survey. They might do Resident Evil 4, Codename Veronica, the remake. I think, I'm down for I that. I think they're doing Resident Evil 4 already for sure. Yeah, that's they have, the they, rumors. They have a, uh, third, a third team working on that one. Uh, can't yeah. wait, can't wait to see how that Ver goes. Yeah, if they can do Codename Veronica and just f to finish off the remakes of the Resident Evil series from the old school, uh, I think they should do a DLC for Resident Evil 3, make people, you know. Yeah, that's probably what they're doing. Since it was that, so I, I, that, would, that would be super smart. That would be great because you have 3 and three and 5. I mean, you have 3 and Codename Veronica, and they're about the same time frame, I think, if they're taking stuff out. Um, to me, my favorite Resident Evil um is Resident Evil uh, uh, 1, then 4, and then uh, uh, 2. Uh, no, I mean, the remake. So. RE2 Remake did get a did get DLC, but they were super short. Mm. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I already said I don't want no more remakes. Do something new. Like, they are making that new one. They're still doing no, Resident I know, Evil 8. I too. know that, but they continually make these remakes, and they're just like, I mean, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying, like, like shame on them or whatever, but it's like, it's, it's it just seems like they don't have any more ideas for Resident Evil. They're just like, you know what? Let's just start it over again. Reboot these, what? remake these. People are buying it, Elias. We just got the but rumors people... for eight that it's gonna take him no, place I, in the castle. I know, I, I know, and I love idea. that, and I want to see that. But mm -hmm. but the, but if that means they're taking away focus from their A team from doing the new ones, doing like the hype shit, and then they're they're producing like they're developing these other games using their B teams. And then they're like, it's spreading each other thin. I'm like, eventually, like, I just don't want to see them fail. Like they haven't fucked up as of like, since Capcom Marvel. has not failed. They haven't fucked up you since Mar Marvel choice. versus Capcom ultimate or whatever it's called. Or oh, infinite. Yeah. They haven't fucked up since then. Mm. Uh, I don't play monster hunter and all those other games, but just be cautious of spreading yourself too thin, especially with all these remakes. That's not yeah, Capcom I night trust. I agree. Well, guys, that's been our review for Resident Evil 3. Remember, we're on uh, Spotify, iTunes, Apple. Uh, we're in all that jazz. Follow uh, JRX4 on his Twitch. Um, and he knows in his Facebook live thing where he plays Pokemon. Uh, but that'll be all for us. <laughs> Peace out, bitches.